When hunting for big game, having a sharp knife is a must. I think I've found a knife that's perfect for hunting and skinning big game. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a review on the Razor Light EDC 3.5 from Outdoor Edge. So first off, this is a folding knife. It just folds out like that. One feature that I wish this knife had that it doesn't is I wish you could use a finger mechanism here to flip the knife up, but instead you push it up with your thumb like that and you can do it really fast. But I still prefer having one that you can flick up from the back. Once it's open like this, you just press the button right here and fold it down. Make sure you take your fingers out of here before you shut it because this knife is extremely sharp. You can pick up this knife with six replacement blades for about $25 to $35. So only needing to pay $25 or $35 for a knife like this is fairly cheap for something of this quality. Another feature I like about it is this clip right here. It just clips right on your belt and then it's on there. Whenever you need it, you can pull it out and it's good to go. So I believe these knives come in orange and blue color patterns and the offset is black. So you can get orange or blue on these parts here and the rest is black. Probably one of my favorite features about this knife is the blade. After it's folded out, it's super sharp. And if it ever gets dull, you can sharpen it again on your own. Or you can press this button right here, push it in, and the knife blade comes out. Get your new blade, put it right in the slot, and it'll click shut. And it's locked in there. It's not going anywhere. That is a brilliant design by Outdoor Edge, in my opinion. So I have the three and a half inch blade on here, and that is this length. I believe you can also get a five inch blade, and it's made for flying fish. That would basically stick out further and be a slightly more flexible than this knife. One downside that I do see to this knife and having skinned multiple deer with it, uh, it really comes through then. And that is that it can be just a little bit hard to clean. So when the blade is in like this, there's a slight gap you might not even be able to see. But when you're skinning a deer, oftentimes hair and fat will get stuck up in there. So if you don't keep after it and keep this knife clean, you will get buildup on it. Oftentimes after I'm done field dressing a deer, I'll remove the blade from the knife and get a toothpick and just run it up through here and any little crevice I can find just to get all the fat out. Then I'll throw it in soap water overnight, come back the next morning and finish cleaning it. That's about the best way that I've found to keep this knife clean. So you might be asking, how long will this blade actually stay sharp? I can usually skin, field dress, and butcher a deer with one of these blades. I do sometimes try to sharpen it again and keep it going for another deer, but there's just nothing like having a fresh, blade in this knife and ready to go field dress or skin a deer. By the end of the season last year after field dressing multiple deer, I was able to take this knife and field dress the final deer of the season in only 10 or 15 minutes. So sometimes knives like this have a problem of after you flip it up for a long time, it'll there'll be a little bit of wobble in the blade. This thing has absolutely no wobble. So yeah, that's pretty well it. This knife is always sharp and it's not even that expensive for what you're getting. You're getting a steal of a deal on a awesome knife. So if you wanna check out this all around, fairly budget friendly, affordable knife that works great and is always sharp, check out the Razor Light EDC. This video is unsponsored, unbiased opinion. It's just a knife I thought I wanted to share with you guys because I thought it was really good and uh, wanted to share it with you guys. So that's pretty well it guys. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you have any questions about this knife, leave it down in the comment section below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. We will see you guys on the next video.